Hello my lovely Aries, welcome to your magical reading. We are going to look into what's coming your way within the next month ahead. I am going to do this in the style that I did my last pick a pile. I'm going to link it up here if you guys haven't seen it. So this is just going to be a little bit more information, a little bit more specific information for you. You can have Aries wherever in your chart. You can be Aries, you can be dealing with Aries, you can be a cross watcher. This is timeless, you can see this whenever. I have already filmed your August reading so I will also link that on the top of the screen. But we are going to use normal tarot as well. I am also going to take cards for love after so that we can see what's coming into your life with that. But let's dig into it. Dragon. Maybe this is connected with a spirit guide of yours. Ooh, snake. Ha. Ah. Then we have beauty. Yellow tiger, swallowtail. Hmm, interesting. Luminous warrior. What else do you have? The sacrifice. Oh, 44. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with a twin flame connection where there has to be sacrifices. There needs to be sacrifices, a gate, get back into balance. Rose quads, open your heart. Yes, because we manifest with our heart chakra. No, wait, postpone, pause, say no. Maybe you need to take your power back. Take a break. That makes sense. A life work, not a session. Get off the treadmill. I know that another sign also got that deck or that that card. Let's see what else you have. Not the right time. There is a lot of that energy here. Hmm. Unlikely. There's something that might break. It might be a twin flame connection that's being broken, or it doesn't have to be a twin flame. This can be a relationship, because that there is something that needs to be worked out. We are going to look into it. But it has this energy that the path is not ready. Like if you would walk down this pathway now, you would get hit by lightning. And you don't want that. So not the right time for something. I did hear traveling, so maybe some of you guys have had trouble with that. Happiness. Broken ring. Hmm. Yeah. Parting of the ways in either romance or business, it makes sense with the rest of the cards. Wow. Yeah. So there might have been like, you might also have gotten fired or it didn't really, you didn't succeed in finding the dream job that you wanted, but it's not because it's not for you. There might be something else, we will see. But it might be because of the time is not right. Maybe there is something else for you. Birds waiting for news, package or letter. And then we have the sorrow over loss. I mean, this can be more clear with the connection between all the cards. That's pretty strong. I am going to go through these cards before we dig into the tarot. Maybe you are seeing the other person's true self and it, you know, it caught you by surprise because it's not what you expect it but I do feel that with the dragon card it's more about that you are learning to see your true self who you really are and that is something that we are all being called to right now we are all being you know placed in the right path on the right pathway where we can see ourselves otherwise I have this like um, picture of like being surrounded by a lot of mirrors and it's like frightening because suddenly we're like oh is this really me is do i want to be like this do i want to change something do i like where i am or who i am and the beautiful thing with the dragon is that it is an energy that is within us that has been within us since you know the day we got born 
it watches over us, it navigates us into the external world, the next level of experiences while we are, you know, realizing our inner world. I do feel that you are going to this energy that's being awakened, like the dragon energy is being awakened inside of you, that like you are being called to be a visionary. So you might feel like you're traveling with a great friend inside of you. You might feel like your spirit guide too close to you. Like there is this calling from within. So you guys might also have like found yourself for the first time. Like you have been looking at yourself in the mirror and you just you suddenly saw who you really are. So you are going through this like transformation. And it's beautiful because you do have the combination with the snake um, and the dragon. So you are realizing your highest potential that you have inside of you. It's so magical. And we do have like purple flowers, so there might be something with spiritual energy. But with the beauty, it's also you realizing how magnificent you are. I heard magnificent. How beautiful you are. How you can create beauty. You have unawakened magic within you that's being activated. There's really great potential here. You might even start doing kundalini work. It's like this with the snake. It's this like shakti kundalini energy of activating the energy that the life force energy that we have at the base of our spine. So you are awakening a new power inside of you. And the thing is that the snake also appears in your life um, when there's no more time to waste. So this is your last call. Something is being pushed out of your life for good. It's not the right time to focus on the heartbreak. Again, focus on yourself. Do, don't move too fast. But time is still running out for you to tap into this new awareness that you have. Which makes sense with the planets around us because they are helping us with that. Most of you guys have been like so much like in love that you didn't see that something else was collapsing in your life. Like maybe you forsaken your work or your projects because you were so much focused on another person. And you know, for some reason it just broke you. Maybe this person just let you be, like you know, left you, left you in the cold, I heard. But this power that you have inside of you is a reminder of your inner and outer beauty. The power that you have inside of you. It's you having the power to overcome loneliness if you feel lonely. Also now that you have the luminous warrior here, you know, you have them or you have it next to not right time and unlikely that something is breaking. It is here to remind you that it is important to focus on your power again it makes sense with the first cards your wisdom and your beauty which is again it's it's so mind-blowing that he comes with power wisdom <clears throat> and beauty because that's the cards that you have here do not be you know seducted by what seems wrong with you or with the world around you because we are going to so much chaos we are focusing on so much chaos because if we see it on tv we see it on social media people are putting it up in our face all the time do not focus on that you have to remember that intention follows attention so focus on your positive traits feed your light with more light until that you feel this true power into you feel empowered because then there's going to be this like little need for action in your life because you are resolving all the situations from within so it's going to actually move everything around but you need to shift your awareness don't focus on what's going wrong don't focus on the unlikely don't focus on the delays Wait, post, postpone, pause, say no. Right now you need to say no and say yes to yourself. Some of you guys might work too much. There is a new job waiting for you. Something that's, that's less stressful. Again, we are not meant to be working animals. We are meant to 
manifest from our heart space. We are meant to receive things, but some of us are just slaving away. It was a very powerful statement. <laughs> yeah, some of us are slaving away. There is true happiness waiting for you. And when we receive the sacrifice card, it is your angels and guides of the universe asking you to sacrifice what's most precious to you. This can also be sacrificing this like, oh, I need to be perfect. Like, you, you are gaining so much more from being you. Because whatever you are sacrificing right now will be returned to you ten times bigger and more powerful. It's like, it's actually interesting if you, I don't know why, Spirit put that in my mind. Like, but if you are someone who's been wearing, I know if you're male, this is not going to work for you. <laughs> but if you are a female and you have been wearing makeup for 10 days straight and your t your skin is like sick and tired of it, you um, get outbreaks, whatever. If you sacrifice the makeup for a week, your, your skin is going to get back to normal and feel better than ever. It has this kind of energy. I know that if you're male, it might be like if you have been you know, overworking, like overworking out, pushing, you know, your um, <laughs> the treadmill too much, running too much, or pumping, you know, <laughs> your muscles too much, you are sore. So the sacrifice for you is to stop doing that and relax so that you can get back to normal. It's that kind of energy here. If you have been giving love to someone and you didn't get anything back, you need to sacrifice and give that love to yourself so that the universe can give you the right person. You are going to be elevated to a higher frequency with that sacrifice. Yeah, get back into balance. Open your heart chakra. Learn to say no. You know, get off the treadmill. Yeah, so there is some kind of loss, there is con some kind of um, break, but sac sacrifice, yeah. Happiness and news are coming your way. With that, let's take the cards and see what else we can get for you. I do like this, but there's something that's not meant for you. But there's some kind of delays because it's not meant to come into your life right now. What do we have here? Wow, yeah! The Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Powerful new beginning. Whoa, it's like a reward for you. Let's see what else can we get for Aries. Oh my god, people! The world. We do also have the Knight of Swords reverse, which is interesting because I think that um, Sagittarius got that as well. Oh my god. And it's interesting, so some of you guys might be dealing with um, Sagittarius or be a Sagittarius dealing with the Aries, maybe. But this card popped up in the Sagittarius reading as well. Um, oh, not this card. This card, because this is the energy of Taurus, it's the energy of Gemini. Um, so some of you guys might let go of an air sign, you might let go of a Taurus. You might let go of a uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Someone who might have been holding you back. Stab you in the back. It might be someone who guided you in the wrong direction and you got lost in that direction, you know? I don't know why I feel like someone might have been stealing something from you, someone who was arrogant. But now, this is waiting for you. What else can we get? Magic is waiting for you. Take your power back. Maybe you're manifesting a Leo. It's interesting because I think you came up in a Leo reading actually. Hmm. I mean, some of you guys are dealing with a Leo. But also, if it's not a relationship, it can be a boss that was nasty. This can be the government. This can be whatever. It's could. It can be your ego. But now magic is coming your way. Let's jump into love and see what is happening there. What is coming into your life with love? Remain positive. Yes. Is there anything else? You are ready. 
the moment you do this like sacrifice you are becoming ready fully ready but you need to realize the power that you have inside of you remain positive because you will become ready for this rainbows might be a sign playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine yes makes sense with the cards and the messages you have received what else this could be the one someone special is being guided but you're letting go of something else i do feel that but let's see what else can we get with love for aries Ooh, is it a water sign maybe is it aquarius maybe it is someone that you have been trying to manifest or it's someone that you have tried to manifest it can also be a cancer someone that you have tried to manifest you know on a consciousness unconsciousness oh, well what is it that i want to say consciousness level like you are not aware of it but this person is coming into your life but you had to let go of someone or something else wow I don't think that you know who this is yet. It might be someone from the past, but it might also be a new person. But it's your heart's desires. But it's it's you allowing yourself to fall in love. It's you allowing yourself to feel. Work with your emotions. 17-7. Wow. Allow this to come into your life. Let's see what else we can get for you. What is the message for Aries? Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. I mean, maybe some of you guys are dealing with someone from the past, but I still feel there's someone that you need to let go of. Oh, it's a person who is letting go of something or someone. That could also be... Again, take what resonates, leave the rest. Oh, okay. So we just take them. So let's see what we have. Balance makes sense because you have that. You had that with another card. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A, a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Freedom. Hmm, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to. So maybe there is someone who needs to make a decision and it can actually be someone that you're dealing with who's going through this letting go of another person, a sarcastic person. And they're trying to let you know that for them... Um, oh, the candle just totally spilled all over the place. Well, anywho, the coast is clear. But I still feel like both of you are going through a lot of work. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. <sighs> well, maybe some of you guys are manifesting someone new. Oh, it's a new energy when it comes to a person. Again, only you know because there's two energies here. But I think this is going to be everything for you. I hope that you guys could use this. Let me know in a comment below. If you are in need of a private reading, healing session or removal of blocks, all information is down below. I hope you guys will have a magical day. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Like you don't need anyone else. Like you don't need anyone else. Because all I need is you.